Hello there, science friends, and welcome once again to Photoshop for the Scientist. And after a few very busy weeks at work for me, I am back with another video, but just a short one this week, another basic video about using masks. And so what that is going to allow us to do is hide the parts of our image that we're not necessarily interested in keeping in our figure, but at the same time will uh, save us from deleting any pixels, um, which may be important later on. And to show you what I mean, if you're like me, or at least the same way that I was when I started using Photoshop, if I had an image, in this case just a scan of a western blot here, and I wanted to get rid of all of this extra junk and I just wanted to keep my bands, uh, what you may be tempted to do is use the crop tool to uh, crop out the area that you're interested in, uh, which I'm just going to exit out of that because I don't want to do that. Um, or even what I found myself doing a lot too was using the marquee tool to select the area that I'm interested in say and select inverse and just hitting the delete key to get rid of all that extra crap. But I'll tell you a perfect example of why you shouldn't do this is that I was looking at an old figure the other day where I had done just that and I had a western blot and I was trying to remember what the bands were, uh, where my ladder was, and I didn't have any information and of course the original blot and the original scan were lost to the ravages of time and I was left with nothing. Just a stupid bunch of bands without any information and I cursed myself so badly and it was super frustrating. So I'm going to show you how to avoid that um, with masks. So I'm going to hit uh, Control alt z a couple times just to back up and I'll hit Control d to deselect. So to use masks uh, we basically start off the same way. Uh, we take the marquee tool and select the area that we're interested in and I'm just going to hold the spacebar to move this over a little bit and then once you have the selection that you like, uh, you go to your Layers panel and you'll see this button here with uh, the little rectangle with the circle in the middle, and this is your Add Layer Mask button. So if you give that a click, you'll see that we're left with the same area that we were interested in before, but uh, all, of, all of our original information is still here. So if you look up in your Layers panel, you'll notice beside our Image Thumbnail here, we've got now this uh, Image, uh, there we go, Layer Mask Thumbnail. And just looking at it here, you can see basically every area that's black is covering up our image and making it transparent to the background. And then the white area is what we can still see. And now at this point, you can do anything you like. You can move your image to wherever you want. And as long as this chain icon is still here, uh, you can click it to get rid of it. But as long as it's still there, your layer mask is going to travel uh, with your image uh, the way you left it. So you can even hit Control T to resize your image. And you'll notice um, that the bounding box is around the entire image still, and not just the area we selected, um, just because it's all still there. So you can resize, and say if you're happy with that, you can hit the check mark if your computer has the capability to do that. There we go. And uh, yeah, and so that's really all you need to do. Um, and if at any point you need to go back and, like me, you need to see where your ladder was and what your other information was, if you go to your layers panel here and hold the shift key and click your layer mask, that's going to bring this red X over top and reveal everything again. So it's just going to disable your layer mask. So you can go and look and see what you need and then if you hold shift and click again, it disappears. Um, if you want to let's say modify your layer mask, you can treat it just like a black and white um, painted layer. So for example, I mean you can just use the pencil tool or paintbrush tool to paint black uh, away from where you don't want it, but this is pretty sloppy so I'm going to hit Control Z. So typically I would do something like use the marquee tool, say if I wanted to trim a little bit off the bottom here, and select this area, and as long as you uh, have your layer mask selected here, um, we can fill this area with black, and a shortcut to do that is by hitting, if your black is in the foreground here, uh, Alt Backspace. Um, you should note that if your black is in the background, you can hit Control Backspace. So I'll hit Control D to deselect. And again, that's uh, really all there is to it. Um, it uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but if you want to delete your layer mask, you can hit right click and say delete, or you can just drag it into the garbage can. But I think uh, that's really all there is to masking, at least in the most rudimentary sense. Um, masking can get super complicated if you're working with uh, photographs or, I don't know, other sorts of graphics. But for the purposes of our science, I think this should be enough really to get you going. The important thing is, is that you've uh, retained all of your data uh, while just keeping the area in your figure that you're interested in.
So uh, that reminds me, if you have any, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and I will do my best to respond to them. And remember, you worked hard to get that data. So why not work a little harder and use layer masks to make sure that you're not deleting all of your data so that you won't curse yourself years down the road when you're trying to figure out what the hell you did. Oh, okay. Well, that's all for today, folks. I will see you all next time.